At number six, it's any episode with Talia al Ghul. Okay, Avatar was f***ed up, but Talia al Ghul was still pretty good in that. This is one hell of a character. She's beautiful, she's mysterious, and you never know what side she's really on. Especially in the first episode, Off Balance. But are you certain the lady in black was working with this Vertigo chap? Had to be, Alfred. Then she helps out Batman and learns his true identity. What happened to my mask? What have you done with it? Easier to clean your wounds this way. Then you know. You know that I'm... Hush. Who knows what other ears may be listening. And just listen to that voice. If you're not sure who it belongs to, it's Supergirl herself, Helen Slater. Not joking about that. There's a lot of flirtation between these two. But as I said, you never really know what side she's on, and at the end of the episode, she betrays Batman. Wait. I can't let you leave like this. Not with the drill. I thought I finally knew which side you were on. I should have known better. But she does tell him... I am truly sorry, Batman. It could have been... sweet. Which ties into what happens in the episode The Demon's Quest, a two-parter, where it turns out that Talia really is in love with Bruce. And what's more, her father also deeply admires and has great respect for the Dark Knight. Ra's al Ghul is hoping that Batman will marry his daughter and become the leader of the League of Shadows. It's the ultimate temptation story, because by agreeing to follow Raish, Batman can accomplish everything he set out to do. Wipe out crime, restore order, and kind of in a weird way get his father back. But... Batman is too clever to see for that. He knows that as, as, as attractive as a lot of that is, he can't succumb to that. That's truly going to evil. Things become even more complicated as Talia is torn between her love for Batman and her love for her father. Also... I share my father's vision and seek the same ends, but I do not choose his means to those ends. And in the episode Avatar, which again, is really f***ed up, but there's a very interesting conflict for Talia. I have to go after him, Talia. Will you help me? You are so like him making me choose between the two of you. The only thing he and I have ever agreed upon is our feelings towards you. Farewell, Talia. It is said that one finds immortality in one's offspring. Alas, I know that to be a lie. At the end of the episode, however, she does choose her father. I am truly sorry, beloved, but he is my father. It's a really tragic love story, and it baffles me that the Chris Nolan Batman movies did not choose to use this, even though they had Ra's al Ghul in the first movie. I really think the Selena Kyle thing is getting tired, and I wish that people would recognize the great story potential in using Talia al Ghul. Deadly, mysterious, and completely alluring, this character had my attention in any episode she was in. Remember me, beloved.